are now tuned in to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. Yo, this podcast is for anyone who's looking for a career change and looking to get into the IT field, but well, this podcast for you. So if you're tuned in through YouTube, please click that subscribe bell. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it just like that too. You got to hit that subscribe bell. Hit that subscribe bell. You know what I'm saying? Keep up with the notifications and let's get to it. So have you ever came to the point where you're wondering, hey, I want to get my first IT certification, but which one should I get? Should I get a Network Plus or should I go with Cisco CCNA? And which one might be for you? So after this video, hopefully you'll have your answer. So let's get to it. The first one we're going to look at is CompTIA's Network Plus. So I got my little notes here, you know. So looking at CompTIA's Network Plus, the cost of the Network Plus is $358. Uh, not bad. That's about the going rate for any average uh, certification. You can find some at a lower price. Um, I know something like Python, the beginner search for Python is like $60. Um, there's a couple of other ones that may be at a lower price. So $358, um, not too bad. But when you're thinking about um, if you don't pass it, you pretty much just through $358 down the drain. So, uh, but they do have offers where you can get different bundles with study packages. And also you can get it where you can uh, purchase a retake also. So that may be more beneficial, but it is at a higher price. But now I'm just comparing apples to apples, price to price. And also you may be able to get some kind of vouchers or discounts uh, depending on how you go about getting your certification. Some community colleges, if you take the course, you may be able to get a d discount through taking the course. So there's different avenues out there, but just looking at price to price, the price of it is $358. So who do I think this cert is good for? So this is a beginner cert. I think it's good for anyone who's trying to get into the IT field or already in the IT field and you want to get a quick wind under your belt. By quick wind, I mean you want to get in, pass the certification, that, that may build you up some momentum to carry on to your next certification. Uh, this Network Plus, I think um, it'll give you that quick wind, and uh, it's not extremely hard, so it may be what you need to get you started. So also, this cert will, good, will lead into probably you going into your CCNA or maybe pivoting into the security RAM. So it's good for either or, but like I said, it's good for that quick win. Build that momentum, you know what I'm saying? Get the ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? Put that battery in your back. It's good for that. Another thing, like I said at the end, it was it's good for, I think it would lead perfect into going into the CCNA. Uh, the Network Plus is kind of uh, getting you a basic understanding of networks, which would lead into you possibly wanting a deeper understanding where you may go into your CCNA. That's where you'll get that deep understanding of um, you go more into your IP addressing, your subnetting, um, building networks, and especially configuring actual devices. So configuring network routers, configuring uh, switches, you know, configuring uh, wireless access points, configuring wireless controllers. So that CCNA is going to get you a, a good bit of um, more hands-on, I think, which uh, in my opinion, I think hands getting that hands-on is always valuable than just uh, reading the material. So anytime something's offer you, something offers you hands-on uh, practice, I always say that's a plus. Another thing, uh, so if you're looking to get into internet security, so this certification, I think it pairs well with the CompTIA's Security Plus. So especially, uh, you know, some people may not realize in the security RAM, you have more of a internet security and a network security where internet security, you know, is more along the uh, probably the software side of things, uh, email, securing email, things of that nature, where network security, you're getting more into the um, firewall configurations. Uh, your IPSs, your IDSs, you, you're getting more into that um, 
similar to what you would do in your Cisco CCNA. You get more into that, uh, your, your configurations with your firewalls and et cetera. So I think this will be good for if you're planning on going the security route where you may not want to learn how to configure firewalls or you may not want to learn how to configure your routers, your switches, different things that you will learn in with your CCNA. You may want to just get a basic understanding of the network so that you can know how to troubleshoot a network and that you can quickly spot out any kind of network issues. So you may just opt for, instead of deep diving into that CCNA, you may go ahead and opt for the Network Plus, get you that basic understanding, then pivot into your Security Plus and go ahead and go on the internet security side of things. So, like I said, that's my three opinions on the Network Plus. Like I said, it's good for a beginner, gives you that quick momentum. I think it leads good into either Cisco CCNA, which is going to give you a deeper understanding of networks if you're trying to go the networking route. And also, it's a, it's a, it leads good with a going into security, the internet security side of things. You know, I think it goes well with that. So, if you, uh, so far, you know, if you're finding any value with this episode, you're listening on Apple Podcasts or your favorite pod, podcasting platform, please leave me a review. Let me know what I could change, what I can improve on. So, if you have any questions, please leave that in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Or I may just make a video answering your question. So, like I said, hit me up. Let me know how I'm doing. So, the next thing I'm going into is that Cisco CCNA. So, the CCNA, um, the cost where your Network Plus was $358, your Cisco CCNA is $300. So, $300 is a little bit cheaper. Um, with the CCN, CCNA, still the same uh, concept. Either you pass the test or you fail the test. So either way, you're either going to get your $300, either going to bring you joy or it's going to bring you pain. If you fail it, pretty much you just threw away $300. So you want to make sure with either one of these certs that you study and prepare for it to be um, as best prepared as possible to go sit and take these certification exams. So. With your Network Plus, I forgot to give you your study time. So I think um, anyone, if you're new entry level or if you got some kind of computer understanding, I think of probably about two months. You can probably study hard, get your Network Plus. But continue with the CCNA. Uh, your study time for that is going to depend on if it's a refresher for you, where you already done, took some classes, you already know a little bit you just need to refresh as a refresher i would say about three months if it's a refresher but if you're totally new to the concept of cisco ccna networking and this is totally new to you i would at least give yourself about six months and not six months where that six months turned to 12 months that 12 months turned to 24 months and that 24 turns to 36 and you never get it I would give myself about six months, and what I would do is, when I decide that I'm going to take the test, I will reach out six, I would go in my calendar six months, and I would go ahead and prepay for that test. That way, it's going to put that urgency behind me, it's going to make me study every day, or study, or form some sort of studying habit to where um, I'm not just throwing my $300 down the drain. Okay, and... Who do I think this cert is for? So I think this cert is good for anyone who's looking to be a network tech, network admin, network engineer. So if you look at some of those roles, you will see what they pay. Um, also, anyone who's looking to get into network security, because like I was told, you can't secure a network if you don't know how a network works. So I think uh, anyone that's who, that wants to dive deeper and then also anyone that's looking to get into IT, I think this is also a good beginner cert because with this cert, it gives you the uh, basis or the uh, foundation of networking as well as some other aspects. But I think this is a good cert that anything, any other certification you get only adds to it. So if you think about it, everything in IT runs on a network. Without that network, 
your, your stuff ain't running. You know, without a network, things ain't moving. Packets ain't moving. Data ain't flowing. You need that network. So just going in, getting that CCNA, which for some people it may be overkill, but especially if you don't want to end up in the networking department or anything like that. But I think it will give you a good understanding to where anything else you venture to, whether it's the server side of things or um, security side of things. Security, I think it's perfect because it goes hand in hand with, with security. But whether um, anything else that you pivot into, I think that knowing how network works will only make you better. It will also make you stand out. So even if you're looking to get into the cloud search, you know, cloud, you still have networking with, with cloud search. So everything where, where you go, you're not going to get away from networking. So I think the CCNA is a good one for, for that because it only shines when you put another cert with it. So and then um, also. Between the two certs, the one that I think will give you the most bang for your buck. I got to go with the Cisco CCNA. Um, so Network Plus is a bit higher. And I'm going to say it is a bit easier. Um, but that Cisco CCNA, I think, is more valuable. Um, usually, if you're talking to another IT person, if you tell them, hey, I just got my Network Plus, yeah, we're going to give it. I'm going to give you a congratulations. We're going to give you a congratulations. But if you say, hey, I went out and got my CC, my Cisco CCNA. I know that you put in some work on that thing. Like I know that you know you did a good six months or more on on studying that thing, and I know that by you passing it, I know that you understand networks. And a lot of times, that may be what hiring managers look at too: is oh, you got this CCNA that shows dedication, that shows commitment. So I think that CCNA is going to be more valuable. Um, if you think otherwise, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'll be thrilled to um, hear your opinion or uh, what you think is the most valuable cert. But if you ask me, I'm biased. I'll tell you that up front. Um, I think that CCNA is going to be what uh, sets you out from the pack. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going to be one I would recommend to a beginner also. I know it seems like, uh, like I said before, it seems like some overkill, but I would. I think a beginner, um, if you had to choose between one of the two, I would say choose that CCNA. Um, if you had to, if you could get both, that's cool too, you know, because like I said, that Network Plus could lead into you getting that CCNA. So if you want that quick win, go for the Network Plus. If you want more bang for your buck, more, a more valuable cert, I would say go for that CCNA. So. Like I said, this comes up to the end of the episode. If you're finding value in this episode or you're listening via Apple Podcasts, please leave me a review. If you're listening via YouTube, please like, subscribe, click that notification bell. You know what I'm saying? We're about to wrap up. So if you have any questions or anything, please email me at debtfreeNIT at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram, debtfreeNIT. Uh, you can, it's the same thing on TikTok. You know, I'm trying to get more active on uh, some of the social media sites. So, like I said, if you see me on there, drop by, let me know what's up. Peace.